Bangalore Tech Summit unveils dates for the next three editions, the dates for next three editions of Karnataka's flagship event, Bengaluru Tech Summit were announced by Sri Priyank Kharge, Honorable Minister for Information Technology, Biotechnology, Rural Development, and Panchayat Raj, Government of Karnataka in a press meet. The 26th edition of Bengaluru Tech Summit, BTS 2023, is scheduled to be held from November 29th to December 1st, 2023 at the Bangalore Palace in Bengaluru. Dates for the next two editions were also announced, November 19 to 21 in both 2024 and 2025. The event dates for the 2024 and 2025 were announced early to encourage international tech organizations to plan their participation well in advance. This is a testament to Karnataka's continued commitment to the growth of the sector, while transcending national and international boundaries through collaborations. Prior to the press meet, a breakfast meet was held where Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Siddharamaya interacted with 100 plus source of leading IT, semiconductor and electronics and biotech organizations. Also present at this two-hour breakfast meet were Sri D.K. Shivakumar, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Priyank Kharge, Honorable Minister for IT, BT Government of Karnataka. Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shaw, Chairperson, Vision Group on Biotechnology and Sri Chris Gopalakrishnan, Chairman, Vision Group on Information Technology. This interactive meet enables open dialogue between the government and tech leadership on the backdrop of the upcoming BTS 2023, with discussions focusing on Karnataka's thriving tech ecosystem and the road ahead. We are here to deliver a government with the governance. I think whatever we had last, we are assuring you that we will be a government with good governance and you all will take a leap. We know that Bangalore is a very important place in the country and India is seen through Bangalore. And Karnataka, especially a state which has a political will with good human resources, good natural resources and a talent up. I don't want to explain what Karnataka and Bangalore has been. I'm very happy that my minister, Mr. Priyanka Kalgi, and his team is trying to win all of you, trying to convince you that still we will take it forward to see that all of you will be on the global map. Today we are addressing a Bangalore technical summit. We look forward to taking global arena. We want to have a global summit in Bangalore and we want to see that we bring more investors, more job creation, not only to Bangalore, beyond Bangalore is a part of us. Already on the party manifesto which we have announced before the elections, we have come out with various different policies so that we help. We believe that if you are strong, we are strong. The people in this room, the people in this industry, including the industrial sector, including the MSCs, SMSCs, are making us strong. You are creating employment, you are giving us finance, you are giving us revenue, so that whatever the programs we decide, only with your, with your financial and resources, we can be able to take it forward. This 100 days we have been spending with whatever the promises we have given to the people of Karnataka. But next 100 days we will see that we will give a good roadmap. We know that the ease of doing business and the governance will have to give you a special status because we believe, Karnataka believe with the leadership, Mr. Siddharamayaji, that if you are strong, we already came out in one, one of our speeches in the assembly. You want to announce anything. If I, if I tell something, if I want to assure you something, we should deliver it. You know that when I was a power minister, the Karnataka government had only 10,000 megawatt of power. When we came out of the government, we had 23,000 megawatt. The big largest solar park was being installed in Karnataka without acquiring a single acre of land of a farmer land. That is what the Karnataka. Now the government of India is looking at our same policy to the entire country. 
So Karnataka is always in the in every sector part of India. Today, the ITBT minister, I'm very happy the way he tried to convince all of you. We have an industry minister. We are coming up with a, a already chief minister three days back. Myself, CM, was traveling with my IT, uh, my industry minister was informing him to have a new IT policy, which will so that which will help you. We want more investors, more job creators. We know that we should not lose the opportunity. We will set up a new concept so that all of you will be happy if you will make you more stronger. I have a lot of things to discuss with you. I will have uh, find out some other occasion to exchange a lot of ideas. I know that you can contribute to the growth. We want your suggestion on the U.S. sector. It is not only the urban development, not only the industries, even on the primary education and on the uh, <coughs> higher education also. We want a lot of suggestion which needs what the market needs. We want to see that whatever the market needs, even on the technical education, we want to change our curriculum, we want to change our syllabus. Let us all work together. I always said, tell that joining together is the beginning, thinking together is the progress, working together is success. I am sure today you all are joined in this Bangalore Technical Summit. You all are discussing, you have given your progress, and let us all work to make Karnataka and country strong. Thank you for coming. Once again, let me join with you to shape Bangalore and Karnataka. We are looking forward to see that, to change our state a little bit more. We again, I assure you that Bangalore will be the showcase, the show way.